Hi, welcome to another 41 Designs video. I'm going to be sharing with you today um, a travel journal. This one is actually um, the last one of my um, travel journal collection. So if you are getting ready to have a trip, uh, maybe summer or uh, spring break, you may need a journal. So here's one that I think would be super fun um, to add all your, your memories to. So to start off, I'll, sh I'll share the cover. The cover, I actually made it out of uh, the really kind of heavy duty hanging folders. And it's green, that's kind of what I liked about the, the folders, just the color was, I thought, perfect for kind of what I had in mind as, as the ideal travel journal. Um, then I stitched the one signature onto the journal. And then I also stitched all around um, the cover. And, and you'll see on the inside how I contrast with the, the paper that I um, covered the inside of the cover with. Then I also added some really pretty ribbon. Um, I love, 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 love the black and white contrast. And I, if you kind of follow my work, you see that I use it quite a bit. Um, I then added this really pretty kind of beaded chain and this really, just really cute um, gold bead to the very end of that and that is um, completely removable so you can definitely um, move it throughout the journal. Um, it, the size of it it's intended to be used um, for where I sized it for um, a traveler's notebook so you could definitely use this as an insert for your traveler's notebook but not necessarily um, have to you because the cover is, is um, sturdy enough that it could be used on its own. So then I created kind of a collage, I'll put it down, kind of a collage, make sure I'm in frame there. And then I had, I love these so much. These are um, Tim Holtz and they are, I guess like a photo booth pictures and they're just so cute. Um, and they're nostalgic and I love that. So some more Tim Holtz paper, like die cuts I should say. And then just like a shipping tag. This one I think is also Tim Holtz. Um, I just love his, I love his products. Um, and then this is some more Tim Holtz paper, which I cut to kind of make the, the pocket or tuck spot, whatever um, you want to call it. And then one more of his ephemera pieces. Oh, and then before I open that, let me show you. So this is the closure that I, I like to use on my journals. Um, it's just, I feel like it's really pretty because of, I add the glass beads to it. So you can kind of see how it um, sparkles, but then I it, it really does keep everything secure and there's no commitment. <laughs> if you do use it inside of your traveler's notebook, you could definitely remove it completely and, um, and that's why I like it. <laughs> So you'll see that on most on most of my journals. So let's go inside. So you can see this is the other side of the of that ribbon that was on the on the front cover. Oh, got it stuck there. And then I added a um, alteration tag and then some more Tim Holtz ephemera. And this is a printed um, image from an Etsy shop. <laughs> then you can see here where the the stitch um, the, the 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 what do you call it the sewing um, of the cover and the inside page kind of really pops um, I love using like that black thread as the contrast so on this um, side I just have some really pretty scrapbook paper that kind of coordinates with the whole theme um, of travel and then I created just these fun kind of journaling. They're kind of like a journaling band, I guess you could say. See how pretty that is. So I you did stamp some of the pages too. So here, yeah, because you can see here's another stamped image, more Tim Holtz, some washi tape there. <clears throat> I love a little airplane stamp. So here's some vintage music paper. And then on this one, this is actually um, vintage music, I mean, a vintage um, 
book page that I ripped out and I just love how, I don't know if you could kind of this is why I love junk journals because you could see the naturally aged um, color on the page and um, another Tim Holtz um, little ephemera piece and then I stamped this little stamp of like the the world here's another Tim Holtz ephemera piece and then I created a tuck spot with one of his little like tickets there. And on this page, I created a tuck spot behind the small brown um, paper bag. I stamped it and then I added a little um, punch out butterfly and just some fun um, ephemera pieces. And these are great, you could journal on the back and even add those very small instant instant uh, pictures. And then here's another journaling tag with an, a vintage uh, safety pin. Then this page, I'll show you like this. So, it, sorry, <laughs> I hit the camera. Um, on this one, it's just some really pretty scrapbook paper um, I stamped an uh, airplane image. Well, it's actually kind of like a stamp. A stamp of a stamp. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense. But <laughs> that's what it is. And then some washi tape here. This is some of the Tim Holtz uh, paper. And then I just put that in like kind of a little tag so you can journal on. And then on this side, you have um, just a printed postcard from an Etsy shop and then I just stamped this little piece of scrapbook paper there. And that's just intended for you to kind of journal some more on. Some more on. <laughs> I don't know what it is, what's going on today. Um, on this page, I have um, it's just a vintage book, book page. I added some washi tape on the edge and then just one more um, with some of the Tim Holtz ephemera. One more journaling, um, I don't know, wrap. <laughs> so on this one, um, this is just a tuck spot and I just added a really nice big tag that I stamped on. Some more Tim Holtz paper and this is a, a printed uh, tag from an Etsy shop. Here, some more Tim Holtz. Tim Holtz again. See what I mean? I love Tim Holtz. <laughs> and all of this is also Tim Holtz. And that's just a nice little tuck spot so you can add your pictures and, and, um, and the things you collect in your travels. Then here, this is the, the center of the book or the journal. And you have um, just some vintage music paper. I don't remember if... No, actually, this one I coffee dyed myself, and um, and then I added some just some scrapbook paper kind of journaling bands, I guess, so you can you know tuck your your goodies in here. Then on this page, I just added some scrapbook paper. Um, this is Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz, and then this is just some graph paper that I just added a little stamp to. And you can journal on that one. I just think it looks really pretty. It's like a little collage. So here's another kind of layered um, set of pages. On this one, another tuck spot with the brown paper bag. You see a lot of these kind of elements repeat themselves. And I think that that gives the, the journal a lot of um, just an easy flow. Um, as you go through it, everything kind of has the same rhythm of um, arrangement, colors, and so on. So I think it's really pleasing to the eye. So this is, um, I believe, also Tim Holtz. <laughs> I just love his stuff. Um, yeah, this is Tim Holtz as well. So <laughs> shipping tag, and that was just like I showed you, just so you can journal on. So here, uh, let's see, let's take this apart so I can show you. First of all, look how cute. Isn't that adorable? 
Isn't that perfect for a travel journal? I'm like, okay. <laughs> I gotta make more of these. These are so fun. So, uh, vintage um, book page. So then I created, you know, just added the little band. This is how you're gonna um, play with it. So then you have, I think I had it this way, but it's Tim Holtz, so you can't go wrong, which, <laughs> whichever way you decide to put it. And then this is just paper, um, it's almost like construction paper. And I added just some stamped images and then kind of like a journaling opportunity there. So then I used this fun little airplane paper clip to kind of hold it all together. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, love it. So we move on to the next, let me just, it's gonna drive me crazy. <laughs> Little OCD there. Um, on this page, you have this great scrapbook paper. Um, it's kind of like, I guess that would be like ledger paper maybe. And then you have the fun Tim Holtz airplane die cut and this fun little stamp. Travel the world, that's the goal. <laughs> So scrapbook paper, stamped image, let's see, on this one, take it, oh, I don't want to show you the other page yet. Okay, so then this is just some scrapbook paper that you can journal on, and then I added a little Tim Holtz die cut, it says airmail, super fun, and then drop that one. So then here you have the, the red scrapbook paper and then the, this fun little banner, I actually just got that yesterday. Whoops. Okay. So here on this page, some more of the, uh, this is actually the other side of that um, vintage paper that I told you was aged. And then um, more stamped images, more of that um, kind of the band. This one I layered one on top of the other. So it kind of gives it even more, more of a layered look, which I think, I think you guys are liking that because I get a lot of comments about how you like the layers and the compositions of my pages. So thank you for your comments, by the way. I am finally, I think I'm, I'm only like two weeks late <laughs> um, in responding to your journal. So I really do appreciate it. I read every single one. I, I respond to every single one. That's why I'm a little slow sometimes. But um, it really, really means a lot to me when you guys um, take time out of your day to say good job or, or just, just comment and, and let me know what you're thinking about my journals. Um, I really do pour my heart out into what I do. So when it's received with so much love, it, it really does um, it really does mean a lot to me. So uh, thank you. <laughs> and, and I will um, hopefully try to catch up with the with all the the comments. So on this page is um, it's a vintage uh, music sheet, and then I, I added that. So let me just kind of bring it up so you, you can see it. Isn't that cute? This U.S. postage, 24 cents. It's kind of like one of those like old airplanes. But I just think all those little details really add um, personality to the journals, you know? So here's another band. And again, the, one of the main reasons why I like using this form, um, you know, like to embellish, this form of embellishment for the journals, like the paper bands, it's because that way you can you can bring this home and you can make this your own. You can move it around. If you have a picture that maybe would look better with this kind of band, um, move this to an, you know to the other one. And and if you need more space to journal on a certain day, then you might need the bigger band versus the smaller one. And yeah, I really want it to to be you, an experience for you too, not just. This is a journal that I made and, and you have to somehow adapt to it. No, I want to adapt to you and make it um, easy for you to to personalize it and make it fun and, and a wonderful memory and a keepsake because once you're done with your trip, you can then take this journal, keep it in your, you know, your bookshelf and really um, revisit those wonderful memories time and time again. And um, this kind of grew out of just my love for scrapbooking too, so. So then more Tim Holtz, um, printed um, image. This is a Tim Holtz die, which I love. And then a nice big tag. And then I added just some 
ribbon with one of his <laughs> I feel so silly because it, everything is Tim Holtz um, with one of his little um, staples that, that they use the, the, the tiny attacher so yeah I'm a big Tim Holtz fan and, I, and I'm not like affiliated or anything. <laughs> this is not sponsored. I just, I, I truly, truly love his work. Um, and then here's more Timbals. <laughs> so, and here's, um, I wonder if I showed you that paper. Isn't that cute? It's like kind of vintage too. So here's the closure. And then I'll show you the back, which I think I did. So I've been kind of putting my, my little stamp on all of them. Um, I really hope you enjoyed that. I, <laughs> sorry, I've been, I don't know why I'm so goofy today. Not that I'm not goofy every day, but today. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, I really enjoyed um, making this journal. And I'm definitely going to make more um, travel journals in the future. I've had a great response from you guys. So, um, yeah, definitely more to come. But for now, this is the last one in my collection um, right now. It's listed on my Etsy shop. So like every other video, I will add all the links, um, you know, to, to where you can find me, where you can kind of follow along with what I'm doing, and, and definitely to where you can find this journal if you are interested. And then um, also, if you enjoyed the video, um, I would love... Uh, for you to give me some thumbs up and um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and you want to see more of my journals definitely um, try to change with the seasons and try to keep you guys looking at something fresh and, and new every time so thank you for watching and, and I will um, I guess I'll see you next time <laughs> have a great day thank you